Right there, it's Mr. Kinsella and Mrs. Thomas. Just gonna take the badge off, stop the rattling. Um, just a little video just to show you how to do this maths homework. So the first one is to make a tally chart. So you can make your tally chart about anything that you like. And you'll probably need to ask some people at home, um, maybe brothers, sisters, ask parents, ask grandparents, or you can actually do it just by looking at something. So you could look outside the window and see what how many different colored cars go past. In fact, that's the one I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do a tally chart to show the cars that go past my house. So what I do is I sit there and I watch for 10 minutes. Oh, first of all, I need to do cars. And I'm gonna look for some blue ones, some black ones, some red ones, and some silver ones. If any other ones go past, well, too bad. They're not in my, they're in my tally. So I sit and I look outside the window and I watch to see what's happening. And I go, oh, there's a blue car. And then a bit later on, oh, here comes a black one. Oh, here's two red ones. There's another blue one. Oh, there goes a silver car. There's a black one. There's another black one. There's two red ones. Here comes another red. Oh, now I've got to remember. One, two, three, four. So five like that. Here comes another blue one. Here's a silver. And here's another blue. And then there's... I'm stopped. And then all I do is I put in metallic. So one, two, three, four for the blues. Three black cars went past. Five red ones and two silvers, and that's my tally chart. For my pictogram, I could do the same sort of thing. I could do cars again, or I might decide to do something a little bit different this time. Maybe I could ask the people in my family what they like. Maybe I could do fruit. So I could say fruit, and this is going to be the what you call the frequency, I think, is the word. Is that right, Mrs. Thomas? Yeah. Frequency. Good word. So again, I'd need to ask some people... And I need to think of some fruit that I know people do actually like. Well, I know quite a lot of people quite like apples. And I know oranges are quite popular. We all love a strawberry, don't we? Let's face it, strawberries. And uh, maybe I could do melon. And what I would need to do is I'd need to decide on the key. So I'm going to go for circles for mine. You could do crosses, you could do little pictures of the fruit. I'm just going to do circles. So my key is going to be that one circle is one one vote one person who's chosen it sometimes you get ones where a circle means two so if it was three people for example you'd have a full one and half a circle but for this one i'm just going to do one so i need to ask the people in my family and ask my sisters i'd ask neve i'd find out maybe ask the next door neighbors and find out what they like so just pretend here i've got one two three Four people have said they like apples. Two people said they liked oranges. Strawberries were really popular. Loads of my family like that. And melon was level with oranges. And there's my frequency. What you could also then do is stick that on one side. And then on the other page, you could do some little sentences that go with it. So I could say for this one here, um, there were... There, there were three more red cars than silver cars because red's got five, silver's got two. I could say on this one, um, together, oranges and melon had four votes. Or I could say, the melon and the oranges adds up to the same amount as the apples. Or I could do a little true or false one. True or false, apples were the most popular. That's going to be false because strawberries are the most popular. And that's how to do the homeworks. So that's just a little video which we hope will just help to make it a little bit clearer to show you what to do.